Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing y'all how to get started playing Splinterlands and how to get everything set up. And this is going to be the first in a series of videos going over like how to get started, how to play, what you need to know, the painful things that I ran into as I was going through and learning how to play the game. Now, step one is you want to go to splinterlands.com. And the link is in the description for my video. And the link is actually a referral link. And if you use the referral link and you end up deciding to, to buy the spell book, which is I'm going to show you how to go through the whole process in just a second, I think I get like a nickel or 50 cents in game credit. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, if you find this video useful and you want to do that, go ahead. If not, no biggie. So just click play now. And then it's going to ask you to create an account. So click create an account and it's going to ask you for your email address and confirm your email address. And if you use my link, it should say referral account and then Joe Dredd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my email address stuff and hit next. And then you just click this box to accept it. And it's going to ask you to create a password and you do the passwordy stuff. Now, once you type in the passwords, you just hit create. And you'll see the little Splinterlands mouthy thing go around, and it'll give you the option of playing the tutorial. Now, you may want to play the tutorial. That's up to you. For the purposes of this, though, I'm going to go ahead and skip it because I will give you a better tutorial, a more in-depth thing in a future video. Now, the next step you need to do is you need to buy your spell book. And the reason I say buy the spell book is because Splinterland has leagues and battles and that kind of stuff. And in order to play most profitably, what you want to do is you want to have the spell book because it opens up the ability to get all the nifty rewards and stuff. And it also is kind of an anti-bot measure because there's been a problem with it being profitable to play Splinterlands without any kind of um, investment in the game. So they're, they, they're working pretty hard to, to basically stamp out on the bot problem. And so buying the spell book is definitely going to be one thing you want to do if you're, if you enjoy the game. So you click buy the spell book. And then when you have the option to buy the spell book, you can either use a promo code or crypto or PayPal. Now I'm going to use PayPal because, well, it's kind of the easiest for me. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to click the PayPal button, pause it, and go through the whole PayPal thing. And then I'll pick back up when that's sorted out. Okay. Now, after you buy your spell book, it asks you for a username. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a username. And I've been sticking to like a Judge Dredd 2000 AD theme. So I'm going to go with Judge Minty. That's going to be my hopeful username. So check availability. Yes, I'm Judge Minty, and hit continue. So now we wait patiently for the little mouthy thing to do its deal. Okay, one step that I want to mention that I kind of neglected to show, once you actually sign up for Splinterlands, make sure you go into your email and like do the verify email address thing. Just uh, something general to remember. Okay, so now after you've done all that and you've bought your spell book and you got everything set up, the last thing you want to do for the initial setup stuff is you want to go up here and you want to click on your username and you should see an option that says request account keys. And if you click request account keys, what it'll do is it'll send you an email that has a link in it that'll let you get your account keys. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to basically save these account keys in a text file. And you'll use these account keys later on to do various things in the game. Now, it's very important that you keep your account keys private. And really, I can't go through the whole process because you'll see my account keys if I do it. But what you do is you just hit submit request. And then you'll get an email from Splinterlands that has a link that will allow you to request your account keys. And then you click on the link, you put in your password, and then it'll show, your, show you your account keys. And then you just need to save these account keys somewhere because you will use them a fair amount when you're dealing with Splinterlands. So just, you know, go through the process. And I would recommend do this very first of all after you buy your spell book. And then once you have your account keys, then 
that's where we can get into doing some of the interesting, more interesting stuff in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here, and we'll pick up next time, and I'll show you how to actually play the game, and I'll show you some of the more interesting things you can do as you progress through the game. Oh, also, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to hit the referral link down in the description, if you decide to set this thing up, uh, it'll get me something. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have an excellent day.